Simon on sound has just pointed out that I have been lent these to hold. I've not physically been given any flowers for Valentine's Day, and I'm very unlikely to receive any either around there. <laughs> Uh, I mean, even if he is, it's definitely not going to happen. But I just hold these, I'm going to take some pictures, and I can post them, and everyone can think that I'm loved a little bit more than I actually am. Uh, for fun. Anyway, um, it is... <laughs> now it looks like he doesn't love me. He does, in his own way. Um, Valentine's Day. We are here at New Covent Garden Flower Market. 75% of all of London florists get their flowers from here. And these guys have been in since half past one this morning. This is one of the busiest mornings that they have. And across the world, 250 million roses are going to be sold here on Valentine's Valentine's Day and it's one of course of romance in 2020 a million people in the UK proposed on Valentine's Day and I'm sure the same will be happening up and down the country but it still stands that the staple is roses are the most popular flower to be bought and sold and given on Valentine's Day followed by carnations and then lilies there are very few of these left here in the market we'll be looking at more of them as we head through the morning but in the meantime let's take a look at the weather this week which is set to turn very wet and windy Yes, low pressures queuing up across the Atlantic. But if you were heading off on your holidays, as we saw our Nick Dixon was in Belladorm this week, well, the weather is set pretty fair across the Med. Temperatures are average or above. Plenty of dry, sunny weather to be had. Temperatures high teens, maybe even low 20s. And that fine weather for those jet setters lasts for most of this week. It is looking very different if you are staying closer to home. Some people half term this week, some's next week. But at the moment, this week looks very wet and windy, turning stormy by the end of the week. But this is how it looks for today. Cloudy skies for many of us. Outbreaks of rain for southern areas of Scotland, northern England, across the Midlands, eastern areas of England as well. And it's fairly breezy to boot. And as we head through the day, the whole bed of cloud and rain slips its way southwards. And then from the north, blustery showers look set to arrive. Cold enough for them to be wintry as well. And temperatures just getting into double digits for many of us. And as we head through this evening and overnight tonight, the whole band of cloud and rain slips its way southwards. And with clearing skies, temperatures fall away. So initially it's clear, cold, frosty, potentially icy, maybe a warning from the Met Office for that. And then by the end of the night, wet and windy weather moves in from the northwest, slipping its way southwards, and that brings snow to northern areas. So first thing tomorrow morning starts clear, cold, frosty in the south. That wet and windy weather starts in the west and marches its way eastwards. So Tuesday's weather, very wet, looking very windy. By the middle of the week, it turns exceptionally mild. On Wednesday, we're talking 15, maybe 16 degrees, but it's Wednesday night into Thursday. Things are set to turn very stormy indeed. Good morning to you. Yes, there is hustle and bustle here. It is so crazy to see so many people up early. Roses, of course, are the big seller here this morning. But Gypsophilia, these rainbow ones, literally my favourite flowers, and these are rainbows. I couldn't get better than this. I'm hoping that... Maybe these will be on my list for Valentine's Day today. Uh, Weather-wise, though, perhaps a bit of a washout if you have some outdoor plans. The weather, not just today, for much of this week, is turning really unsettled. The Atlantic is being turned on. The jet stream is firing up. A 200-mile-an-hour jet stream this week set to bring wet and windy conditions right across the UK. Most days this week, there are warnings in force, and we could well see our next name storm, if not the next two name storm as we head through the week. So this is that's how things are looking. Low pressure after low pressure, wind and rain, wind and rain. Today, though, we've got cloudy skies. A mild start for many of us. Outbreaks of rain for southern Scotland, northern England, the Midlands. That all slips its way southwards as we head through the day. Brighter skies follow for Scotland and Northern Ireland, but blustery winds bringing frequent showers. And again, it's cold enough for them to fall as snow, but mostly over the highest of ground. Glimmers of brightness around today, more than we had yesterday after that wet and windy one. And today's top temperatures just climbing up into double digits. So let's take a look at the weather for the rest of the... Yes, Valentine's Day, roses are the name of the game. These come from Porto Nova in Italy. The guy actually grows grass for football pitches around the world. And the only other thing he sells and grows are these roses. 250 million of them will be sold around the world for Valentine's Day today. And they are selling out very fast here this morning, where there's lots of hustle and bustle, but it's slowly dying down. One thing that isn't dying down this week the weather. It is set to turn wet and windy and stormy later on this week. We're likely to have our next name storm, if not two, as we head through the week. But for today, this is how things are looking. Cloudy outbreaks of rain, particularly for southern Scotland, northern England and the Midlands, and a mild and windy start to the day for many of us. As we head through the day, the whole band of cloud and rain slips southwards to central, southern and southeastern areas of England. Brighter skies follow in the north with sunny spells and some scattered showers and temperatures perhaps just getting into double digits. The outlook for this evening and overnight tonight, it turns clear, cold, frosty initially, and then it turns wet and windy from the west as we head through the day today. The rain will be heavy as we head through the day, particularly across the north and west. 
Good morning. Yes, I'm in the hustle and bustle of New Common Garden Flower Market, where people arrived here at 1.30 this morning to get their best pick of flowers. There is a selection of red roses still available, not very many of them, and these, of course, will be the top tip and the top purchase here on Valentine's Day today. The second most popular flower on Valentine's, carnations, and the third are lilies. Now, weather-wise, let me tell you, a bit of a washout, a wet and windy one as we head through this week. Low pressures, firmly in charge. That means cloud, wind and rain nearly every single day this week. But this is how it looks for today. Cloudy skies and rain for southern Scotland, northern England, the Midlands. Through the day today, that all moves south. So it's cloudy, mild, windy to start the day today. All of this rain for central and eastern areas means it's a miserable afternoon to come here. Skies will brighten for Scotland and Northern Ireland, but showers move in. Some of those showers heavy with sleet and snow, so the colder air moves in. And temperature-wise, we struggle into double digits at best, but the rest of the week dominated. Cold and frosty to start on Tuesday, turning wet and windy from the... Welcome back to Good Morning Britain and happy Valentine's Day to you here from New Covent Garden Flower Market. The hustle and bustle is dying down here. It's all about these roses, the most popular choice of flower on Valentine's Day. Slowly they are selling out here. And around the world, 250 million roses are set to be sold on Valentine's Day alone. Now, weather-wise this morning, a bit of a wet and windy one. In fact, it is all week long. Storms brewing in the Atlantic, particularly for the end of this week, and we're likely to see our next name storm from the Met Office. So stay tuned to the forecast as we head through the week. Today, it is cloudy, mild, with outbreaks of rain, moving from southern Scotland, northern England, heading down towards the southeast of England. Brighter skies follow for Scotland and Northern Ireland. Sunny spells, a few scattered showers, feeling chilly in the wind, but turning much wetter and windier later on this week, guys. <coughs> Thanks very much, Thank Laura. you, Al. See you tomorrow. Now then.